Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. I have now come to the village of Harmal. And behind me, you can see such a beautiful church over here that is dedicated to the lady of the mount or Mount Carmel. In fact, when this particular church was constructed in 1740, it was not dedicated to the lady of Mount Carmel. Initially, it was dedicated to Saint John the Baptist. Much later, in 1841, the people, the parishioners, constructed this lovely uh, church over here and then it was dedicated to Nossa Senora the Carmo or the Lady of Carmel or Mount Carmel. Later on, all the frontage that you see was constructed. 1907, it underwent a massive uh, refurbishment and renovations and in 1908, this church was blessed. When you come to Harmal, this place has got its own charm. Today we have come to Harmal for a totally different reason. We have come here to see the Rapon Karanche Fest. How that fish that comes to your table is caught? What are the different ways that this uh, local fishermen or the Rampondkars use? But since we have come over here, I thought I will bring to you this wonderful church of uh, Our Lady of Mount Kamal. We will also go inside and see this. Harmal is an amazing place because one of the two most famous chilies of Goa one is of Kola from Kankon and one is from Harmal. These chilies are supposed to be the best. And the chilies of Harmal have got more seeds inside. So it is more pungent. You think that the history of uh, the heritage of Harmal stops over here? No. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, you know that there is a legend which says that Goa was created by Parshuram shooting an arrow into the sea and then the sea god went back till the place where Parshuram's arrow had fallen and the arrow had fallen in a place called Banahalli which we know today as Benauli. But what happened after Parshuram shot the arrow and created this lovely land? For that we will go down to the beach and I will show you something you will be amazed because everybody knows that Parashuram shot the arrow but very very few people know what happened after that and I am going to show that thing to you but as of now let's wait for the father to take us inside and show how beautiful this church is. So let me see whether father has come in so we can just go inside and see this wonderful church that is over here. Yeah, I can see father over there. Good afternoon, father. Good afternoon. Nice yes. yes. So ladies and gentlemen, here we are with father Pio Almeida. Father, please welcome to our program, My Going. Ladies and gentlemen, Father Pio is the parish priest of uh, the Church of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Father, can you tell us a little bit about this wonderful church that you have over here? This church was dedicated to St. John the Baptist and uh, there were some extensions, renovations in the years. And uh, in 1908, it was re-blessed. Okay. And uh, in 1841, 1845, was uh, rededicated to Saint Our Lady of Mount Carmel. So before yeah. that, it was to Saint, Saint John, John the Baptist, the Baptist. Yeah, yeah. and then it was yeah, dedicated. Yeah. So from then on, 1841 yeah. till, today, till today, it is dedicated to dedicated to Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Okay. So you will see now this church uh, have uh, been re renovated. Yes. In the 2000 year 2000. Oh, the, what we are seeing today yeah. is the renovation yeah, of 2000. 2000. 
major renovation was done. Uh, this wings, okay. the side wings were enlarged, added, added uh, wings which, which were included in the church. Okay. And then uh, some years back, before that, that another wing was built. Okay, yeah. the side wing. Yeah, so that, uh, that people can be accommodated. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. And so now this uh, church has the main altar dedicated to Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Yeah, but is this the original one? This is the original. This is the original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, to the side, we have two saints. Yes. Saint John the Baptist, in fact, he has a permanent place there. Yes. Towards the right. Yes. And left Saint Joseph. Okay. Yeah. So these three idols that are there yeah. are the original the idols original, that are there. The it is so very nice to see such uh, artistry of our goons yes. still being preserved. It's a really nice uh, altar. Artistic beautiful altar. altar. Very towards beautiful. Towards my right is a, a crucified Jesus image. Yes. And towards my left, this is an added altar. Last year, yes. we have added that. Uh, dedicated to the first saint of Goa, yes. Saint Joseph Vas. Yeah. Very nice. It's Saint Very Joseph Vas. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Father, I have one big question mark on my head. Uh, I don't know whether you will be able to answer on this. You know, behind, on top, is the choir balcony. And the choir balcony, normally whenever there were this big royalty or big people who came and uh, sat over there when the choir was not singing, there used to be a pulpit on the side of the wall where the parish priest would go and say the sermon. Was there a pulpit in this? Yeah, they say yes. before my coming there was a pulpit, but it was somewhere here. Yes. This walls now that they are open, yes. the pulpit uh, Has had, been to be, yeah, had to be had to be removed. Okay, so there yeah. was one. yeah, there was a pulpit. How many, how yeah. many parishioners do you have here? We have 2,000 plus parishioners. 2,000 plus yeah. and they, uh, they uh, this area that is covered is Harmal and, and Pale. And Pale. This parish uh, caters to the needs of two uh, villages. Okay. Uh, Arambol or Harmal and Pale. Pale. Yeah. There are just 10 families there. Okay. Yeah. So almost about yeah. two and a half thousand. Yeah. Besides, yeah. besides a whole uh, yeah. horde of tourists and people who yeah. are coming over they here. And your feast is on which day? Feast, uh, this, is, this feast is celebrated on 4th Sunday of January. 4th Sunday of January. Usually the feast is uh, on 16th July. Sixteen. Our Lady of Mount Karma feast is on 16th July. But because of monsoon yes. and people could not celebrate uh, in a very great way, yes. they had to uh, <laughs> shift it, shift it in, yes. in the month of January. And uh, this being the Mother Church, Many registers, no, baptism and other are uh, maintained here. Maintained here. Okay. Mandre, Moji, Keri, Tirakha, the entire entire Padme. Their ancestors were baptized here. Oh, very and nice. Recently, like 1948, 1930. Do you have a old baptismal here? Old baptismal. Uh, this is now brought here. Okay. Yeah, this is the one. Oh, this is the old baptismal. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Okay. So, Father, would you like to tell my viewers who are there all over the world, who are going to watch this program, uh, would you like to invite them to your church and to the village of this beautiful village of Harmal? So, I have that heart of hospitality. Absolutely. Yeah? And uh, let us save Goa, let us uh, love Goa, and let us appreciate that uh, whatever we have in Goa, maybe the rich, rich traditions, True. the heritage, yes. and so many good things that we have. Yeah. Yeah. I, Thank you very I, much. I think, I, I think what Father would definitely agree with me that we should add up is that we should also preserve our Goanness and being Goan. What yeah. say, Father? Oh, yeah. Absolutely true. Sarkin Sanglete, Goinkar Pon Amche, Goinchi Osmitai, Goinchi Amchi Sanskritai, Goinchi Amchi Bas, and his ugly Goinche, Goinche Jengita, even Jona, Kana, Pina, Jamcha, Tiami Rakon Dorpaji, and the Fulge Pirge Guyamiti, Sangpaji, Kitak Aiskar, Ran Pandogon, Dusunyamchi, Fulli Pirge, that is Shigazaranga Randong. This is the good thing, the things. So we have to safeguard because 
बेन वी आर गोवंस हाँ गोयकार केदना जेना हाँ मुझी भास जाना जेना मुझे हाँ संस्कृत जाना हाँ मुझे गोये जे कि खाशेपण ते तक हाँ गोयकार टोटली एग्रीड लेडीज एंड जेंटलमेन You know there is a huge organization in the world called as the United Nations, and UNESCO is one part of that, which is laying a stress on all the governments all over the world, and their objective has been beautifully summarized by Father Pio here, and they say that please preserve, protect. and promote your intangible heritage in the form of your language your cuisine and your own culture if you want goa to have the same charm please take the advice of father pio where he says preserve it and pass it on to the generation next so right now we will say thanks to father for the beautiful tour that he has taken us to thank you very much thank you very much for coming in this village beautiful thank village of alambo that we have come to the village of harmal and uh, we have seen the church of our lady of mount kamal we came to know that there is another small little chapel at sokolawado at harmal and it is dedicated to the holy cross why leave a opportunity to come out there we said let's go and when we came here we saw this beautiful structure let us go close and see what is over there when i came here and i wanted to enter this beautiful place i saw two statues over here this one is of saint peter and you can see by the key in his hand and you can see another beautiful statue here of our lady of vailankani they have been maintained so beautifully i must say that godliness is next to cleanliness in this place the place looks amazingly beautiful so a message for you ladies and gentlemen please keep our goa green and clean just the way that this thing has been come in let us go in and see the altar here to we have got the main altar which is dedicated to the holy cross and on top there you can see saint john the baptist and here is saint joseph but ladies and gentlemen look at the beauty of this chapel though it is very small in fact if i put out my hands i can touch both the walls but look at the artistry of goans in the old era whenever you are in goa please do not miss an opportunity to ask permission and to come in and see this because if you love woodwork you like artistry such old places of worship are the best so ladies and gentlemen when you come to any village in goa you just can't leave that place without meeting the people of that place and let me assure you there is not a single village in goa which will not extend its warmth and hospitality to the people who come over here but yes we should know how to give respect to the people sometimes we cross our limits and here we have come to this village of arambol and you cannot leave this place without meeting the people and here you can see the people of arambol who have got this smiling faces all around
So now, let us find out what this village is all about. So, yeah, ja gawan amche uh, activities zatat. Tatur bitor goincho kup kine kita zata sirom je game zata, theatre zata. Yeah, gawchi speciality kite. Amcha yeah gawan yeah purga phuda sirom prasta ke prasta theatre katta le. Very good. Prasta ka amche football game hai chalta. अरे हम के बुर्गे हम के आरामल से सुखे ले वाले से बुर्गे क्यों न पसंद फुटे फुटे वाले के लिए पसंद क्या होता है क्या होता क्या होता आसान आजुनी आजुनी क्या होता था ना आजुनी क्या होता था अरे हम सब गांव से योग पुत अतः तो जीएफसी से कोच भी जाला लेडीज़ एंड जेंटलमैन हैव यू सीन द प्राइड इन द वे ही स्पीक्स in the loved game of football. Passion, my friends, passion. And this is what we see over here. Let us shift over now. Let us shift over to uh, the younger generation. I'm Charambola Nanga Sadhya, Char Timiyat, Don Register Club, Tiabar Gan, Burpur Doctor Club. And Sadhya Stajir, Arambol Munji Sadhya Stajir, Akyam Kadista, Pena Malan Sadhya Arambola Mikoshna. तू एक अन्ना थियेटरां भी बाग गेतला लो पॉडी कला आम थियेटर आयन रोल कॉमेडी कला हीरोज़ वाई कला अने आम का कला आकर डायरेक्ट यात बोलूँ डायरेक्ट के लात अने कतारा है मुटलान कैन यू प्लीज सिंग वन स्मॉल लिटिल सॉन्ग फॉर अस आइला पुत्रानी वर्ल्या लेतरानी नो दोर मारून वाज बस क्लास मैजिस्टर डॉक्टर एक जंबा बाजा लो पास तू कहाँ जाए तितले पिए गरन सोरिया चो वाज आय चादी साकुरिया पार्टी खान दुए दुख राचे मास This song is all about drinking and eating food. I love this gentleman. I love this gentleman. But ladies and gentlemen, there is something that we should appreciate we went and saw the chapel of uh, the holy cross and i talked about the cleanliness part of it the maintenance part of it and i was really amazed and so will you be when casually when we were talking we found out who was taking this responsibility of keeping the things very clean and here you are ladies and gentlemen Again, a very young man of 90 year old, Mr. Matthews. Matthews, Bob, tu ye kopela che full area hati sogli clean dota. Tu ka kenna kuisoi munis yon sangta ki tu enki de kela te samke best kela monon. Rog munta ki ne tu bane kutta hai an poli vashin tu wawutta hai. Ay rog maka munta. Kitli morsa dali tu ata yen kurta? Aho ata thodin jada. I, I think, ladies and gentlemen, what this man deserves is a clap. He deserves it. It is, it is these values that have been put into us by the Goan elders. What you see over here is what makes us Goans a little different from the remaining part of our country. We don't have to explain ourselves. I think each one over here who is there, you will feel the ethos of the work that they are doing in what makes us all goons. Now there is one more thing why we have come to this particular village and that is the Ramponkaranja fest. So I am going to catch hold of somebody who is going to tell us something about this particular trade that has been here since time immemorial. And we managed to lay our hands on Mr. Daniel Disaza. So let us find out from Daniel Disaza what this trade is about. What are the difficulties that they are having? Because remember, ladies and gentlemen, we all appreciate seafood. We talk very highly of seafood. But have you ever given a thought how much pains the people go to catch that fish so that it comes on your plate? Let us give our time to them. And here we have got the gentleman telling us about the rampon, the fish, and the trader. Sir. I am Charambol Gawan. 
पोईलो दोन रापणी असल्यो चॅपकारांची आणि शेरवाल्यांची म्हणून मागी तीन रापणी झाल्यो एक कॉमगारांची एक गाभितांची आणि एक गावड्यांची म्हणून हे तीन रापणी झाल्यो आणि आता त्यातल्यो एकूच रापण सारखी अस्तित्वान चलता आणि बोरी चलता रापणकार भावांचा एकवट जो आता तो क्रिस्तव आणि हिंदुवांचा रापणीन एकलेच क्रिस्तव ना भर हिंदू पासून असतात आज ओडियो तर तू घेशी ओडियांक सबसिडी असा मिशिनांक सबसिडी असा काटायांक सबसिडी असा पण रापणकारांनी येदी ओडली रापण करून रापणकारांक किती मेवता एके रापणीन कमीत ते पस्तीस जण ते चाळीस जण पासून वाट वाटेकारी असतात भर आणि एका गोवर्मेंटाचा त्यांना सपोर्ट ना म्हणून ह्या रापणी काबार झाल्यात अजून पासून आता तेच पासून आम्ही आता एक रापण आमची असा ती घोसली बांधू म्हणतात त्याने त्याने आपण तिकोन दौरल्या आणि ही आमची एक परंपरा आणि एक स्थानिकांचे आमचे तो एक धंदो सर तुम्ही एक सांगले की पहिली एक रापण असली मागीर ते दोन झाले मागीर तीन झाले त्या टायमाचे जेव्हा रापणी बाहेर वेताले दोरियार रापण मारपास त्यांना आणि आता जे निस्ते तुमका मेवता वॉट इज द डिफरन्स ते लास्कार बायले बाहेर निस्ते घेऊन गेल्या उपरांत आमकां थोडी निस्ते चोड जबर मेळना ना आधी आम्ही पण निस्ते मारताल्यो जेव्हा लाची ना आल्यो तेव्हा ते आमच्या दोरियाचे सुखात घालताल्यो आम्ही सारे गोत्ताल्यो आणि ते सारे मेन्युअराक वयताले खोत जावपास ते जावपासूच आता चान्स ना किद्याक ज्यो लाची पण आपणाचा कायदो मोडून दोरिया देगे घेतात आणि निस्ते वतात आणि रापण जी पण मारतात त्यांना काय मेळना आता रापण तुम्ही जी म्हणता ती बोटीन व्हडले जाये घालून ते बाहेर व्हरोन इल्ले इल्ले उडोन मागीर ते तोडी काढून वडप ही रापण पण आमक असे दिसता भर की थोडे जे बोडयांचे घालून एक असे बाहेर पेवन वयता आणि ते ताका किती म्हणता त्या आम्ही जैनल म्हणता जैनल म्हणजे ताकटे म्हणजे हातीच्या हेतून ते मारून वचप त्या आम्ही जैनल म्हणता होय ते म्हणजे इतल्या उदकान वसो येतात तुझ्या शुभेच्छा आणि हे तिसरे एक पहिले ते की दोग जण मनीस दोन कोणे दोतता आणि ते असे घालतात ताका येणी 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 म्हणता ओके ओके आता ही जी पण ती ती येणी असता आणि ते मारता ते दोग दोग जण म्हणजे कोण फॅमिलीचेच मात फॅमिलीचे चोडशे फॅमिलीचेच असतात म्हणजे एका गोराब्यान ते आपल्या एका गोराब्यातले एक भाव भाव असतात जाल्यार त्यांच्या ते करून आपण जे उदारपोषण करू शकतात आणि ती जे जेनेल असता ते इज लाईक अ मिनी रामपण हय मिनी म्हणजे अबाउट अबाउट सिक्स सेवन ओ एट पीपल नॉट मोर देन दॅट नॉट मोर फ्रॉम द माउंट कार्मेल चर्च ऑफ अरंबॉल और हरमल वी हॅव नाव कम टू द मेन अरिना वेअर वी आर गोईंग टू सी समथिंग रिगार्डिंग दिस बोट दिस इज एन ओर but what is important is the hill that you see right behind over there not the small part but the ending part of the hill and that part is called as basma so dongar what is the meaning of basma so dongar basma means ash and it is said that when parshuram shot the arrow created goa he came to this part to do his puja now why are people thinking that he came over here now he did his puja by doing the home the sacrificial fire and the ash that fell out is supposed to have created this the entire soil around this is white in color hence it gave birth to a legend of goa as the basma so donger the place where parshuram carried out his ritual so now you know he shot the arrow from the sayadris but he did his rituals over here on this hill so next time you come to Har- uh, harmal or arambal when you come to the beach look down to the north and you will see the basma so donger but i am going to start off with something a little different we will see the rampon karaje fest over here but i want to you to see 
the cano. What a cano and the history of this cano. Let's go down. Come on. <laughs> 